Take a look at that, Tiff. Unbelievable. Oh. Milwaukee is home to the largest pug festival in the world. I can't even tell what all is on there. <laughs> it attracts more than 1,700 pugs, pug mixes, and other smushy-faced breeds to the city. That's an official term, smushy-faced breeds. Yes, that's a pug in a costume where it looks like they're moving stuff. Like he's got mm -hmm. like a box oh, on his back it. and then somebody else helping yeah. him move it. That is hilarious. <laughs> that is right. an awesome picture. Love it. The festival is a lot more though than a lot more than six hours to love to this very special breed. It helps raise funds for 14 different pug rescues from around the U.S. So joining us with more on the plight of the pugs is Joe and Diane Ponza with Pug Fest and four of their own <laughs> pugs. Thanks for being here again, you guys. Thank you for having us. It makes my day every time when you guys come here. You've got to go through and tell us the names of your adorable Let's start dogs. over here. This is Skeeter. Okay. Skeeter. Oscar Madison. This is Lily. In the pink. And this is Star. Star. Okay. And Lily, um, you can see Scott Steele's helping us keep the dog's <laughs> attention so that they look good on camera. But you can see Lily with her tongue out there. <laughs> so awesome. Yes. She's totally decked out. Check her <laughs> out because oh, she is going to her. a formal... <laughs> You see yourself? Yes. She's going to a formal yeah. event tomorrow night, right? That, that is correct. <laughs> Where is she going? She's going to a benefit dinner for Lakeland Animal Shelter in Walworth County, and she'll be helping raise funds for Lakeland Animal Shelter. Oh, oh. she's so fine. What's up with the tongues? She doesn't have a lot of teeth in her mm -hmm. mouth because she was abused and neglected, Aww. so she doesn't have her teeth in there to hold her tongue in. Hold the tongue in. <laughs> so her tongue always stays out, right? <laughs> Just about. Oh, <laughs> she's so cute. What is Pug See? Fest? What is the Milwaukee Pug Fest for people who aren't familiar with it? It is the largest pug fundraiser in the United States. We raise funds for pug rescue groups in need throughout the U.S. What's so great about this breed? They're funny. They're cute. They love to have fun. They, they like to be out. They're, they have a sense of humor. They're social. Very funny. They love people, love kids. They're just a great breed to have around. They yeah. like other dogs. They're not mean at all, not aggressive. Mm -hmm. They're These. just the cutest things, I think. And what, what specifically does the money that's raised go towards? Mostly medical bills mm -hmm. and other issues of that nature. Um, if there's surgeries or medicines that are needed for abuse or neglect or whatever cool. that needs to be done, um, it goes toward that. It's so great. Um, is there, is there, you know, you mentioned surgeries, medical conditions. Are there certain things um, that pugs, certain disorders or diseases that they're prone to? If they're obese, they are, mm -hmm. you know, diabetes, bone joint problems, things like that. But the pugs that are coming in usually have health issues because of of abuse. They are so um, mellow about being dressed up in costumes. Oh, yeah. Is that yeah. unusual? Because a lot of dogs don't like that. Well, we've had them dressed up for <laughs> quite a while so they get used <laughs> to it. Used but to it. when you first put them on, they go absolutely bonkers. Nuts. Yeah, yeah. Like, what is this? <laughs> yeah. Do they wear it in the car or do you wait no. to dress them? To <laughs> but two no. minutes before we get, get in. <laughs> right, okay, gotcha. Yeah. They get dressed right before they come on. So people who come out, should they bring their pugs? Yes. They should. They can bring their pugs. They'll come out. What exactly will be happening? What can people expect when they come out for Pug Fest? Well, they, when they come out, there will be about 50, 60 vendors selling different wares that p for pugs as well as people. We have all kinds of costume contests. You can dress up your pug oh. and parade them around and win a prize. Um, we, we have blessing of the pugs, where we have <laughs> a priest come in and give the pugs a little extra help. Oh. Yeah. Have you guys found that the economy has really affected um, p uh, the, the, the rescue effort, a lot more people surrendering animals? Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. They're surrendering more animals. They're coming into us in shape that's not very good. It's harder to take care of them because of that. So, yes, we're seeing a lot of problems. Yeah, I'm not surprised. We're going to give people information so you can check out <laughs> Pugs on Parade. Oh. I like it. It's the Milwaukee oh, Pug Fest. There you go. Oh, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> They're such good dogs. May 18th, oh, yeah. it's this. Uh, no, excuse me, not this Sunday, but next, next Sunday, Sunday, not Mother's Day. It's next Sunday, the 18th from 10 until 4 at the Milwaukee County Sports Complex, which is located on Ryan Road in Franklin. The website to visit for more information is MilwaukeePugFest.com. Thanks to both of yeah. you and for you bringing in all you. of your Thanks. your um, pets today. You do great yes. things they for the pugs. They love to be here. Yeah, you do. Oh, they yeah. do? They love the attention. They, they yeah. love yes. the attention. Yeah, they do. Yes. They, yeah, they, pugs are attention getters. Yes. That's awesome. And thanks to Scott Steele for helping us this morning. <laughs> yes. To get a, a couple good close-ups. Thanks, you guys. So much character thanks, in those faces. Thank yeah, you. For You're sure. welcome.